Let's have another example. <laughs> a man has a ball from the top of a building with an initial velocity of 20.0 meters per second straight upward at an initial height of 50 meters above the ground. <laughs> the ball just missed the edge and the roof and it's way down. Determine the maximum height relative to the ground. Determine the, to the total time for the ball to reach the ground, the position and the velocity of the ball at time 5.00 seconds. Usually, the natural tendency of the students, most of the students uh, studying physics is kapag ka nakakita sila ng problem, wala na, nag-collapse. Uh, Kilak na <laughs> Paano to is so So again, the very first step when you will be solving problems is to draw so that you will be having a visual representation of the problems. I drawing natin yung problem. Para at least kung hindi ka makasolve, nakai drawing. <laughs> drawing yung tangan. So how are we going to determine if it is a free fall motion? Take note, it is straight upward. Okay, so that means that is a free fall motion. So y-axis lang ang ating drawing kasi free fall lang naman din. Y-axis. Okay, yan. Mm -hmm. At least, tama na kay drawing. <laughs> so, nada kayo building. Okay, nada building. Drawing na po building. Sir, kailangan dyan mag-drawing o building, sir? Uh, okay naman po, Dili, kung how na kayo ka mo analyze sa problem. Uh, okay, for example, maoda na building. Leaning Tower of Pisa. For example, leaning na, leaning. Ah. Ting, ting, gana. Di ba? So, kailangan dito ito nga details? Bili po. Akuwara ng clip. <laughs> building na siya. Building. Ayan. Building. So, then. The other is si Galileo Galilei. Si Galileo Galilei, mag-ipasimula ng kinematics ba? Uh, Galileo Galilei daw na. Nag-experiment si Galileo Galilei o uh, free fall. Of course, using a ball. Dili si Galileo ang nagpa-free fall. <laughs> Nagamit siya o bola. So, for example, another bola dito na. Ta-da! Ayan, ay bola. So this is the start of our motion. So this is the start of our frame of reference. You follow? Okay. So this man, Galileo, naglupad, <laughs> throws a ball from the top of a building. He blabay niya ang ball at an initial velocity of what? He blabay daw niya at an initial velocity of at a velocity of positive 20.0 meters per second. Bakit positive, sir? Because that is thrown upward. Remember our sign convention, ha? Now, the height daw from the ground hanggang dito, the height from the ground hanggang dito is what? Ano yung displacement? Displacement is 50 0.0 meters. Now, of course, if that is thrown vertically upwards, it will go up. Vertical, ha? Pero uh, stretch ko lang, ha? Stretch out para mas makita natin or ma-emphasize natin yung parts of motion. Baka kasi, so hindi man yan straight upwards. I-emphasize na. Let's assume that that is straight upwards, ha? Of course, abot yan doon sa top. And we know that the velocity at the top of its motion alam natin na the velocity at the top of the motion is what? Is zero meters per second. After uh, nasa top na siya, of course, it will go down. Tama? It will go down. Go down. Stretch out ko lang ha para mas makita natin yung motion. Sir, parang projectile yan ah. Again, uh, that is just to emphasize the motion. So, aabot siya sa ground. Sir, bakit aabot sa ground? Kasi ang nakalagay dito, it just misses the edge. So, papunta siya sa ground. Wala na sa ni Galileo. Nakuha? Now, take note, this is free fall motion. It means we all know that during free fall motion, we have an acceleration which is equivalent to the acceleration due to gravity, which is negative what? Negative 9.5. 81 meters per second squared. And take notes of free fall motion. We have two parts. The first part is the motion going upward. So dito na part, upward motion. And then the second part is the motion going downwards. Downward motion, A and B. Okay, let's proceed. So let us identify what are the required variables. Ano ba yung mga required Sulat natin dito, required. For letter A, the maximum height, gaano daw kalayo from the ground hanggang sa uh, highest point? 
Yan, the maximum height. Dito. Yan, okay? The displacement. Displacement from the ground until the top of your motion. Now, the second unknown, second unknown is the time. Time. And then the third unknown is the position. We know position is displacement. And the velocity of the ball at time, so velocity final, at time 5.00 seconds. So these are the unknown variables uh, in our problem. Okay, so let's start with letter A. Solution for letter A. Solution. Ang unknown sa letter A is the displacement. And that displacement is from the ground to the highest point because it is relative to the ground. So ang alam lang natin is from the ground hanggang dito lang banda, hanggang dito. Yan, hanggang dito lang banda alam natin. And that is 50.0 meters. Ang hindi natin alam na displacement is from the start of the motion hanggang sa highest point. Hindi natin alam ang height na to or displacement na to. Do you follow? So we are going to solve this displacement. Okay? Now, what part of motion is this part included? Is it part A or part B? We know that this is part of the part A. Tama? Ay dili lang magikan hangtod sa top. So part A. So we are going to solve that using part A. So we are going to isolate part A. Isolate natin ang part A ha. So naado ka dere initial ni. Isolate natin ang part A and then it will go upwards. Yan. So this is the motion. Let us assume na vertical yan. Emphasize lang nako. So we isolate natin ang part A and we know that at this point, at this point, the velocity is 20.0 meters per second. It is positive because it is going upwards. At this point, the velocity is 0 meters per second. Now, which is initial and which is final? So, saan ba nag-start ang motion natin? Dito. So, this should be initial. Saan nag-end? Dito. So, this should be final. Do you follow? Ano pa ba yung, kaila ano pa ba yung given natin for part A? Wala na. But we know that the acceleration is constant at negative 9.81 meters per second squared. Do you follow? Okay. Negative 9.81 meters per second squared. Nakuha, no? So, isolate lang na ito ang part A, ha? Because ang hinahanap natin is nasa part A. Nakuha. So, we are going to go back to the equations. Ang hinahanap natin is displacement. So, saan ba sa equations natin ang mayroong displacement? We have... We cannot use this one. We have equation 3 and equation 4. So let's check first equation 3. Do we have acceleration? Check. That is the acceleration due to gravity. Do we have VF? Uh, dito, meron tayong VF. <laughs> dito, meron din tayong VI. Okay? So kompleto yung equation 3. So that means we can use equation 3. Do you follow? Okay, how about equation 4, sir? Can we use equation 4? No, kasi wala tayong time. Wala tayong time mag-solve. Question. So we are going to use equation what? Equation 3. So proceed sa solution. 2AD. 2AD is equal to VF squared minus VI squared. Now take note of the term which can be disregarded. Ano ba yung zero sa ating given? The final velocity. Okay, so we are going to disregard this one. This is zero. Yan, so tanggal. Okay. So we are going to substitute all the given variables. Or pwede mo, D ang ipangita, divide both sides by 2A. Divide na lang na to both sides diretso ha? Divide both sides by 2A. Divide both sides by 2A. Para mag-cancel ang 2A. Okay? And that will give us, pila. What is our velocity initial? 20.0 meters per second squared. Divided by what is our acceleration? That's the acceleration due to gravity. So change ko yun into G. Para mas uh, emphasize natin na it is free fall. 9.81 meters per second squared. Okay? And anong answer nito? 20 squared divided by, so negative 400 meters squared, kasi may squared, over 
second squared kasi may square divided by this is negative 19.62 62, what is the unit? Meters per second squared. Okay? So, we are going to cancel the units na pwede mag-cancel out. So, ano yung ma-cancel out sa units natin? May second squared sa taas, may second squared sa baba, cancel. Dalawang meters sa taas, cancel ang isa. So, ano na lang naiwan? Meters. Or that is displacement. So, that means it should be meters. So, that is what? B? is equal to what is 400 negative 400 divided by negative 19.62 and that will give us positive 20.387 unit is meters but how many significant figures ang kailangan natin we need three significant figures three and then three so this is just 20.3 4 meters. Ah, ito pala banda dito is 20.4. Okay? This is 20.4 meters. Sir, bakit positive yan? Bakit kanina negative, ito positive? Remember, this is above. Tama? Above man siya. So that is why positive. Is this our final answer? Not yet. Because ang hinahanap natin is the maximum height relative to the ground. From the ground hanggang sa maximum height. Alam natin na, ah, dito pala banda is 50 meters. Tapos dito banda is 20.4 uh, meters. So that means, what is the total displacement? You just add. I-add lang natin yan lahat. Total displacement is equal to 50.0 meters plus 20.4 meters. And that will give us how many meters? That will give us mm -hmm, 70.4 4 meters above the ground. Positive. Above the ground. So that's our final answer. 70.4 meters.